All right, tell me what we've got so far. Looks like a GSW chest. Do we know about what caliber? At the moment, we have no idea. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is awful. Why would anybody want to kill Kyle? Did someone have a grudge against him? Or could this have just been a madman? Maybe. This has something to do with the tunnels. I don't know if this helps at all, but I got a hold of Kyle's phone. I also found this coin. Maybe we can use it to figure out what happened. Should we really be going through the personal information of our friend who just died? We don't know who killed Kyle. The same person might come and try to kill us. We have no right going through his phone. Look, I don't care I don't what, what it's you. gonna do. Okay, I listen, not... we need to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to go through his contacts. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go clean this off. Hey, did you guys know that they found Soviet coins in the area where Redwood was built? You mean like this? Oh, yeah. That's the same exact coin. Yeah. That makes sense though. Whoever wrote the benediction, they must have been here before Redwood was built, found the coins in the tunnels, and then kept them a secret. Like who, a, a Soviet sympathizer? Yes, and actually one who speaks Russian as well. That voicemail we listened to was in Russian from start to finish. Did either of you recognize who was speaking? No, they must have used a voice modifier. Did the voice sound like it was threatening Kyle? No, it was rather businesslike actually. Could Kyle have been working with the Soviet this whole time? Maybe he killed him to get him out of the way? Like he knew too much? Exactly. But what would Kyle know that was so threatening to the Soviets? The tunnels. We just found the tunnels, and then Kyle gets murdered. Something is in those tunnels that the Soviet wants. Maybe he used Kyle as a man on the inside and then killed him when he wasn't needed. So now that the Soviet knows where the tunnels are, and has Kyle out of his way, what is preventing him from going to the tunnels to get what he wants? We need to go back to the tunnels now, and find whatever it is that the Soviet wants. Okay, let's go! Wait, guys, if you haven't noticed, Kyle has been murdered. The Soviet could be trying to kill us too once we get in the tunnels, because he knows we know too much. We need to call the police. I can get us an escort from campus safety. Was this here before? I don't know, we never made it to this part of the tunnel yet. some sort of hideout. Oh wow, these are like the coin that I had earlier. Guys, maybe we shouldn't be here. Oh wow. Looks like this is the end of the tunnel. Hey guys, look at this. Oh no. Mine says nuclear codes. Mine says Alexander Shemenson. Are those X's launch sites? We need to show this to Zach and Dr. Spaulding. Oh good, you guys are both here. We have the codes. Dr. Spaulding, this is for you. 
Great job, guys. I knew you could do it. Now, give me the codes. Hurry up, debate! I don't have all day. You're the one who killed Kyle. And you left the voicemail! You were using us to find the tunnels! And you were at the initial meeting! What'd you do with Tracy? That's... that's none of your concern. You waited for us to bring the nuclear codes to you! So you could stay at the scene of the crime and look less suspicious. You're all a clever bunch. I'll give you that. But I'm here to finish the work of my grandfather, Alexander Shremetiev. He was the best communist spy who ever lived. And for decades, he hid in your country. But then, when this school was built, the FBI came and they leveled our base. But they never found the tunnels. And now, I'm here to reclaim my birthright. So give me the codes. Okay, you can have them. Your president, he's a smart man. But I have places to be. Good day, capitalist swine. Or as we say in Russia, das Vidania. President Spalding, call security. That's been taken care of. But he's right. I am a smart person. But he has the codes. He's getting away. Oh, you mean these codes? How is this possible? I don't understand. I, what? I think I have some explaining to do. Let me start from the beginning. After our initial meeting, I thought Zach was acting a little odd, especially when he was questioning Tracy. Then when I saw Zach at the crime scene, I became more suspicious because I didn't invite any school employees to come. One of the FBI agents handed me a map they found in Kyle's pocket, which led me to the tunnels. I took the important information with me and put the picture in some decoys and a duplicate box. So the information was fake? Do you think they'll catch Zach? I certainly hope so. Tracy, you're okay! Oh, he's fine. When I came back after finding the codes, the FBI found him tied up in a closet. Uninjured, fortunately. You see, Zach and Kyle, they kidnapped me after they found out I might have information at the board meeting. Fortunately, they didn't find any of the clues I'd left. It's been a long couple of days for you guys, but I think I know what will cheer you up. A ride in the Suburban. Comrades, today is an historic day for the motherland. At last, we recover the codes which my grandfather secreted away. And the first line is, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How oh, I wonder. That is not right. See what is up on top and look below for what is most important. Uh -huh. 